What's going on guys, it's your boy Christian and welcome your faces back to another video. Now in today's video, this video is sponsored by Jiyun or Jiyun, however you say their name. Love the company, have been seeing a lot of great products come from Jiyun, but they had no say so on what this video basically detailed. Let's go ahead and jump into this newest gimbal, which is reminiscent of the 3S. But this is going to be called the Cine Pure Weeble 3E. Now it's going to have a lot of those features from the 3S. Now you're going to have a 6.6 .6 pound payload. And we will be loading up my Sony a7 II with the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 on the front of it. Now I would put my Sony a7 IV on there, but I am using it to record this video. Basically what you get is a gimbal, you get the gimbal tripod, and of course you get a base plate which comes on the gimbal as well. And as you can hear, I got the actual quarter 20 mounts actually in the gimbal. And what we're going to be doing is showing you guys some of the features hands on with the actual gimbal here myself. Like I said, this is the Cinepeer Weeble 3E. Now, it's still gonna have the same, you know, axis lock like we've been seeing on all of the newer gimbals. And this isn't like the biggest, best gimbal you can get. It is a, a smaller companion, but something that you can basically stack up towards the bigger and better gimbals that Zayun actually makes. We have a runtime of 16 hours here on this Cinepeer 3e now it weighs around 2.18 pounds and that is literally nothing compared to um the gimbal that i've actually used last which was actually whoa we lost one of my practical lights but the gimbal i used last was the dji ronin s and it was a heavy heavy gimbal i mean the gimbal itself was coming in at probably around five pounds itself and that was before you put a camera on the top now this coming in at 2.18 pounds basically makes it a little bit easier to carry a bigger camera package like the sony a7 ii or a7 IV, which i have balanced the a7 IV on here we're gonna go ahead and balance our sony a7 ii on here which it also comes with everything you're gonna need you got you're not gonna need to um basically supply anything else with it the battery comes within the control handle and then everything else comes on the gimbal and another feature that i wanted to show you guys whenever i get this nice and actually balanced here on the gimbal we're actually going to be showing you guys how the vertical mode works here on the weeble um cine pair 3e it's actually pretty pretty easy to get the camera into a vertical um orientation here on the cine pair and i think that's what takes the cake with a lot of the features here on the Cine Pier. And as you can see, it looks like we're balanced, but we just have our accents locked. That's the thing that I didn't necessarily have experience with when I did use my Ronin S a lot. Should be pretty balanced. You should go back a little bit. And we should be able to get it nice dialed in. All right, so now we're going to do our roll axis. As you can see, we're kind of tilted to the left here. Your guys is right. Boom. Just like that. And we're actually looking pretty good. Get rid of that. And as you can see, we got our roll and our tilt axis basically ready to go. And there you go. We are actually balanced and ready to go. So um, let's go ahead and turn on. And when you turn it on, you'll see it says Cinepeer. And as you can see, I have it in PF and that's gonna be pan follow. So it's basically gonna follow every pan movement 
not too much on the vertical movements, but it's gonna follow every pan movement that I'm gonna make here on the gimbal. Now, if I press that button again, that's gonna put us in L. That's gonna lock it. That's basically gonna keep it exactly where it is right now. It's not gonna move it. So if you want this bad baby to not respond to anything that's happening with the controller, you can just put it in L mode press it again that's going to go in follow mode follow mode is probably the mode 99 percent of you guys will use because it's going to match your tilt axis and your roll and also your yaw axis that you have here and then let's go ahead hit it again and then we go back to pan follow now if we double tap our trigger on the front that's going to recenter our camera triple tap it it's gonna bring it all the way around and we can do a selfie mode. Now, I don't necessarily know why you would use the selfie mode, but triple tapping that button on the front will do that. Now, I did unmap my scroll wheel here at the front and I did have it connected to my own, my Sony a7 IV and it had an ISO controller on it. You can also use this control wheel on the front to roll so i can make the camera roll as it's looking right now and i find it it was in a weird position for my hands so basically i turned it off it doesn't do anything for the camera or for the gimbal itself and also you got to remember that um this is compatible with some of the sony cameras so you're able to basically just plug in a usb up here actually on the gimbal head itself and it plugs right into the camera and from then you can basically do iso i think shutter speed uh you could do a lot of you know small customizations that you would need to do on the fly with the camera while actually using the gimbal and as you can see guys this thing is rock solid it is smooth this is one of the first Zion gimbals that I've had in my possession and actually had a lot of time to actually mess around with. Now I've actually had this gimbal for around two to three weeks that I've had some time to jack around with it and actually get you guys some footage. You will be seeing that later on in the video, but this is basically going to conclude the setup and the kind of the, the process of how you get going whenever you get one of these out of the box. As you can see, I turned it on. I didn't do no calibration or anything, but you can use the app that comes with the Cine Pier 3E to actually do some fine adjustments and some calibrations. Now, we'll be showing you guys a little bit about the app or a little bit of features in the app later on in this video as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned because we've got a lot more to talk about here with the Cine Pier 3E. So firstly, before we get too far off, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the vertical mode here on the Cine Pier 3E. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and turn off our gimbal and if we had it balanced, you will never know I turned it off, but it's actually turned off. And as you can see, we got it balanced pretty, pretty, pretty good. So with the vertical orientation here, you're gonna actually make sure you need to, you know, lock your axis and you will have to rebalance the camera once you put it in the vertical mode. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and unrelease the um, the latch that basically keeps the camera from moving left and right and once you do that it'll go all the way to the end It can't go no further. There's actually a button at the end of That actual arm that the camera's sitting on right now. You're gonna press that and slide the camera out like that and as you can see here on the mount we have basically that same type of mount on the side of our actual base plate that the actual carriage has here on the gimbal. So what we wanna do is just turn it sideways, slide it on there, and now we're gonna be using this knob here in the front. Let me turn it around. We'll be new using this knob here in the front to basically lock it in place. All right, so we got our roll axis ready to go, good to go. And now let's go ahead and work tilt axis. And as you can see, it's actually tilted pretty well and I see my roll axis is actually rolling a little bit to the right once I release my actual 
tilt axis. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that roll back the other way a little bit. And let's go ahead and turn it back on and see what we got going on. And that's how quick it is to switch over to a vertical mode here on the Cine Pier 3E. And of course, it'll be a little bit quicker with me not necessarily sitting here trying to basically explain it to you guys while I'm doing it. But as you can see, there we go. Now we have our Sony a7 II with the 24 to 70 Sigma f2.8 balanced in vertical mode. And this is one of the biggest selling points of this gimbal. It's small enough to basically carry in a bag, pull it out, get you some nice vertical video, nice and stabilized, get you some nice horizontal video. You can do all types of stuff here with this gimbal being this small and this lightweight form factor and construction. Now, if you want to pick one of these bad babies up, they're going to be going for 250 bucks. And then let me just clarify here. I basically went over everything that I wanted to talk about. Now we will go over the app, like I said before, and then we also will be going over, um, well, actually showing you guys some of the footage from the Cine Pier 3E. So, um, like I said, you got Bluetooth shutter control. I don't think I actually iterated that before now, but we have Bluetooth shutter control. So basically what that means is you're actually able to take photos, time lapse, start videos, start, you know, photo capture and everything. Bluetooth remotely to the Cine Pier 3E. And then you, like I said earlier, have the option to plug it in here on the head, right into the camera, and also have a little bit more functionality and control of your camera. Now you do have USB-C port here on the bad baby to charge. And then like I keep iterating, you do have that USB-C up top, which allow you to connect to your camera of choice. Now, one thing that is missing from the three that is on the 3s it's gonna be that light here now you're not gonna get that light here on the 3e and you know basically the 3e is going to be a lightweight companion to a creative or filmmaker or somebody looking to take photos and or videos because it's going to be a little bit more you know it's not going to be as robust as the 3s you're going to have all of the features as the 3s in the 3e as far as you know uh capacity quality and just overall just you know feature set you're going to have a lot of those in the 3e that were in the 3s but you're going to be lacking that light so if you actually needed that light or actually wanted that light you're only going to get that light in the 3s variant now they do have a i guess you can say like a wrist wrist kind of thing that you can put on here now like i said this is one of my first jiyun or Shiyun, however you say it, gimbals. So I don't really have those accessories on hand so I can show you, but we will be getting them if you guys want to see a little bit more in depth on that sling mode that allow you to carry this bad baby a little longer and it takes a little bit of fatigue off of your wrist when you're actually using a gimbal. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual app here, the Zhiyun app that you can use to actually control this gimbal. Like if you wanted to use it on a car for a gimbal head, you can actually use it like that with the app. Now the app isn't the best app that I've seen for motion control, but it is probably one of the best things that you can use to use the gimbal and not necessarily be close to the gimbal and are operating it handheld. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of the features in the app and how well the app actually works with the gimbal. So I got my cell phone here and we're gonna actually be loading up the ZY Play app. Now this app is gonna be the app that you're gonna be using to control your Cine Pier 3E. Now let me go ahead and start a recording on my phone so you guys can see exactly what I got going on on the screen. So after I clicked on the ZY Play app, 
this is what you're going to be basically brought to. It's going to ask you basically what gimbal you're going to be using, and then you're going to pick it, and it's going to allow you to actually search for the Bluetooth connection and connect to it. So as you can see, I've already connected to it once before, so it's just asking me to connect now. So I'm going to connect, and as you can see, it pops up in the list, and there you go. You're connecting to the device. Easy as that is not nothing crazy you don't have to go through any wi-fi setting up or getting a device on the wi-fi or all of that jazz and maroney so i just click enter now once you click enter now it's going to give you this basically this very simple interface this is going to show you um basically what's going on on my phone my phone battery uh, my bluetooth connection and then basically how much battery the gimbal has itself as well so Right here at the bottom, you can actually press record. It's not gonna do anything because I don't have the USB connected into the camera, but if you did have the USB connected to the camera, you're gonna be able to do some of those settings Bluetooth enabled on the fly on your camera while using the app. It's actually kind of G, but I don't have it connected because I'm not using my Sony a7 IV and I don't have a cable that connects from USB-C to the connection on my Sony a7 II. Anyways, let's go ahead and mess around with the gimbal here. So if you drop down a little lower, you can see we have gimbal control. And as you can see there, I am controlling the gimbal like so. Now, this is, like I said, this is basically a feature that you would use if you were looking to do some, um, some camera controlling or anything like that. And as you can see, you can actually roll the camera too. Anyways, you have your wide and tight buttons on here. That's if you have an um, electronic lens, you can zoom in and out like that. You also have the sync motion um, feature. And basically what that does is um, when I turn this bad baby on, it's actually going to do everything I'm doing on my phone. Now I did take the roll axis off, so as you can see, it's only doing up, down, and then left, right. So, pretty G, right? That's basically the app in itself. It's not too much you can do here in the app. Now, um, you do have some settings you can do in here as well. Like I said, you can do the motor calibration and stuff like that. Now, those are going to be normal stuff that you're going to be looking to actually have in the app. But as far as like the overall user interface in the app is very very basic but it is something to basically just get you to control your gimbal it's nothing that's gonna basically kind of you know give you some movie type shot or anything crazy it's just something that is an added tool to be able to actually control your gimbal while you're not actually very 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 close to it or actually using it hands-on now guys, let's go ahead and jump into some of those clips that I shot here on the Cine Pier 3E. Now these are going to be using the Cine Pier with my Sony a7 IV, so not the Sony a7 II that we see here. So a little bit heavier package and I will be having some screenshots on the screen of the actual package that I'm going to be using on the Cine Pier 3E so you can see what you might be able or might be wanting to conjure up to put on this lightweight gimbal. So let's go ahead and look at that footage. This thing, it rips, I'm telling you. The thing is actually really, really good to be 250 bucks. This thing right here is a third of the price of the 3S. And what I mean, it's a crazy deal. It's a crazy deal. So if you guys aren't hopping on this, make 
sure you are letting your friends know to hop on it because this is a crazy deal if you're looking for a lightweight gimbal to get you some footage over the summertime some nice social media shots and all that jazz anyways that's going to be it remember this video was sponsored by the guys over at Jiayun. they did send this bad baby out for me to do a review on and show you guys and bring you guys my two cents and thank you guys for sending this bad baby out if you guys enjoyed this video and like this style of video and want to see more videos like this on the page, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because it's been a minute since I've pulled the cameras out. I had to knock some dust off and actually do some, um, some rehearsing before I started this video. But it's been your boy Christian. Hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.